Hey guys, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today we're going to be speeding up and fixing any errors with the computer. And if you haven't done so, install all the programs inside the description. They will be Seek Cleaner, made by Piriform, and also by Piriform is a program called Defragler. Now let me explain real quickly. Seek Cleaner basically cleans up your comp your computer by deleting old history files that you no longer need, as well as index files, cache data, and different things like that. And it'll be helpful to uh, to have this program because you'll be able to have options such as uh, cleaning your Windows Explorer history, uh, task taskbar jump list, you know, things that you don't even think about. And if you go to advanced, make sure you only check off these two at the top, or prefetch data, menu order cache, and also the Windows size, lo size locations um, cache, user assist history, and ISIS log files, as well as custom files and folders. And once you have everything and all those things checked off, uh, you'll be able to run the program um, very thoroughly, and it will basically speed up your computer a lot faster than it normally would be if you have never run this program before. Make sure you have everything checked off under applications. These are all the uh, internet browsers and things like that that are using history and index files to run the program. And you no longer need those files and when you close it. The last thing you'll need to do is click analyze to analyze your computer. And you don't need to do that. You can also just click run cleaner to straight up remove all the files you no longer need. At the top of the interface you can see your operating system, your CPU, as well as your RAM and video card if you haven't if you haven't done so or do not know exactly what they are. They are listed at the top so that's a little help, helpful. The next thing you need to do is run your registry cleaner from provided from CCleaner and this is the registry integrity. Make sure you have everything checked off. It'll check for missing shared DLLs and all the things listed below. Um, if it gives you a little window just basically you know check it off this is what I mean let's say you click uh, let's say you click tray notification cache at the on uh, the Windows uh, cleaner it'll give you a little window just click OK but if it does here just click OK and it'll be fine basically your registry is the all the files that are needed to associate with Windows for programs to run such as After Effects they'll need a registry key called .aep and basically that's the extension for After Effects to run um, After Effects projects and so once you run the program um, and run the registry cleaner you'll find uh, maybe you'll find some errors and maybe you won't as you can see I've already cleaned my computer and and I haven't uninstalled any programs so there's no need to uh, check for registry errors but once it has you feel free to click fix selected issues and do not back up any of any of the data you don't need to because I assure you it will not do anything to your computer it'll just make it faster and organize um, all the files that you no longer need and throw them away the next thing we need to do is go to tools and uninstall programs we no longer need so there's a bunch of programs on here and it may slow down your computer because there's a lot of them make sure you uninstall programs as you uh, continue using your computer as it will slow down your computer because it's using up more space than other programs and also maybe taking up more CPU usage if it's running at the moment and you no longer need the program. It's, it's essential to uninstall programs while you use your computer and constantly if, if you have a lot and you no longer need them. You can also uh, find a program and there's different options running uninstaller, renaming the entry and deleting the entry and uh, we're just going to delete uh, the GameSpy Arcade. We don't need that. So we're going to click Uninstaller. And it's going to uninstall with the Wise Uninstaller. Depending on what uninstaller it uses, it's usually provided by the program itself. But if not, it will be uninstalled with the Windows Uninstaller. We're going to click Automatic, click Finish, and it's going to uninstall all the programs we no longer need. The next thing we need to do is check up our startup entries and basically these are the programs that are set to run when your computer starts up. So if you have a lot of programs you no longer need and they will be they'll they take up a lot of space on your task manager under processes, you will no longer um, need them to run at startup. You simply click them and click disable or click delete. I prefer clicking delete to pro uh, programs I no longer need and I like to keep the bare minimum of having only my antivirus and my object doc running which is basically the shortcut um, toolbar at the top of my desktop and that'll basically clean up and speed up your computer once you restart it. You can also do different things like deleting system restore entries as well as cleaning up your drive, basically wiping the free space. You also have the option of doing that in your cleaner as well, but I do not advise it as it will take longer to clean up your drive space. Uh, the last thing you'll need to do is to run your defragmenting program. As I said before, Defragler 
basically organizes your uh, computer's uh, registry and cleans up all your uh, file cleans up your file system basically we just need to run it on our primary so we're just gonna click analyze you can also do it on your uh, secondary or also known as your storage drive for any files you have extra but I prefer only only running out on my primary hard drive as the primary hard drive is basically the only thing that affects your uh, the speed of your computer unless it takes more voltage or uh, usage on your CPU so as you can see it's analyzing our computer and it's compiling a list of uh, different different files that are fragmented and you don't need to worry about what they are it'll just tell you what they are and usually every time you run this program there will be def um, pro uh, files to defragment but you only need to re uh, defragment your computer about once a week to once a month or maybe you know every six months because it's it's not very um you know you don't need to do it at very often so we're gonna click defrag and it's gonna be defragmenting all the files that um, we saw listed at above blue basically means files that aren't fragmented and red is the files that are fragmented yellow and uh, purple are basically Windows files and yellow is files that are being organized in red at the moment but right now it's building the file list so this is all grayed out okay as you can see the defragmenter uh, started and defragler will begin you can minimize this and as you can see it'll run on its own it will not take up that much CPU usage as it is just defragmenting your computer. Well, once you've done all the necessary steps and uh, came, with, came with the tips, which is to run Defragler at least once a month to once every, once every six months, and to run CCleaner about once a week as internet, internet history and stuff like that does clutter up your hard drive space. Don't forget to run your registry cleaner often and uh, uninstall programs you no longer need or no, are no longer using. And that's about it. Your computer should run a lot faster than it was before you ran the programs. And I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial and hope I helped. Uh, don't forget to comment or subscribe. And this is Lightcast Studios. Thanks for watching.